If you're like me and you're a Christian who worships hopefully every week, worship can become a thing that's often mundane and routine. And part of that's not bad. Uh, routines are good, especially faith routines. But the downside of routines is we fall into a rut. We repeat the same things. We lose the meaningfulness of maybe what we once had or once did. And so for the next few central focuses that I'm on, I want to talk about making the individual parts of worship more meaningful to us and ultimately and hopefully more glorifying to God. And so one of those ways uh, that we do it a lot, not just on Sundays, but is singing. Singing is such a beautiful thing that we get to do as Christians, both just the notes, but also the, the spiritual nature of singing, the glory it brings to God, the fellowship it brings to people. But how can we be more intentional about the singing we do when we come together as the church? And I just want to give you one practical thing that you could do that will improve both your singing, but also hopefully your heart. And it's very simple. It's smile. Smile while you sing. It's something that we don't default to doing. And if you're a song leader, you probably can attest that when you look at a congregation singing, while it may sound beautiful, no offense, it doesn't look beautiful. It looks like oh, we don't want to be there or we're not enjoying it. And that may not be true, but the actual act of physically smiling will not just improve the notes coming out, but it will change the way you think about what you're singing. It'll change the way you think about the one you're singing to. And so I want to challenge you to smile when you sing. And I think it'll make it more intentional for you and hopefully more glorifying to God. So let's keep our central focus today and every day on having more intentional, more God-glorifying worship.